Today we are talking about careers in accounting. And what I want to talk to you about today is being a chief financial officer. So the chief financial officer or CFO is the head finance person in a corporation. You are very often an officer in the corporation and it may come with a seat on the board of directors. And the board of directors governs um, the activities of a corporation where there are shareholders. So CFO, first of all, huge earning potential. Depending on the size of the company, you could be making, you know, a smaller bit or a small to mid-sized company, you might be making two, three, four, five hundred thousand dollars. If you work for a large public company, you're making millions of dollars. Um, and a lot of that's coming not only from your salary, but from uh, stock that you get awarded in the company. So huge, huge earning potential. How do you get there? Well, it's a longer path, obviously, because it's more a higher level thing. Um, one way would be to become a CPA. So you go and get your four-year degree, take the CPA exam, you probably want to work in public accounting for three to five years at a minimum, um, and then get some experience in um, working in industry and work your way up to that role. But not everyone who is a CFO is a CPA. In fact, a lot aren't. A lot go the finance route, so more the managerial account accounting way, um, and they have a lot of budgeting skills, right? They Maybe they've run a budgeting department for a large company and a finance department. So you could major in accounting, you could major in finance, and either way would get you there. Um, a lot of times when companies are looking for CFOs, they definitely want someone who knows accounting. You don't have to be a CPA, but you know, is familiar with it. They really want someone with that finance budgeting perspective because it's such an important role. A lot of times they want someone who has experience with mergers and acquisitions, and that's because a lot of companies are buying, getting bought, getting sold. Um, and sometimes they'll want you to have experience taking a company public, especially if you're going to work for a startup company that may go public in the future. And by go public, I mean they're going to sell their shares publicly on a public stock exchange. So if your dream is to be a CFO, I would say take either path, accounting or finance, but get experience in all of those areas, right? Maybe take a chance on a couple of startup companies and see if you can be part of the finance team that helps take them public or helps with a debt offering, um, maybe helps with some mergers and acquisitions activity and get all of those kinds of experience as you continue to work your way up the ladder and have more and more responsibility. Um, the financial payouts are huge. Obviously the risks, there's some risks associated with it. Um, you know, CFOs don't always, you know, depending on how the company's going, they might go through CFOs. Some, sometimes it's a stable job, but it's also, um, you know, if things go bad, you could be someone that gets, you know, that gets pinned on and, and they wanna get rid of you. But if you love doing finance and accounting, if it's really your thing, it would be a great job to aspire to. Um, in addition to the finance and the accounting stuff, usually the CFO is in charge of, insurance and maybe the real estate department. Sometimes you're in charge of the treasury department where the money is getting managed. So you can have a really broad reach and it's a great job for really being over to, able to oversee a lot of different elements of the business. All right, so it's a longer term goal, but if you like to be the person in charge, if you like to run the show, the perfect job for you might be CFO.